Hey guys, Mandy here. I'm super excited for this tutorial because I love doing this. I love using Google Slides instead of Google Docs to make a handout. And so I want to show you kind of the basics of setting that up and then the possibilities of what you can do in Google Slides and using that for handouts instead of Google Docs. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so you'll go to your Google Drive, which duh, of course you know that, and you'll make a Google Slides. And it totally defaults to like a normal presentation size, right? So the absolute very first thing you wanna do other than titling it, um, all, by the way, on that right-hand side where it like has you select a theme, I never select a theme for my handouts because most of the time I'm gonna be then printing these, right? Because I make my notes this way. A lot of times I'll make reading guides this way. Um, but if you wanna keep them digital, a theme could be really cool, but I find them to be like, they kind of give me tunnel vision. They kind of like pigeonhole me to one way. So I like having a blank slate, which could be kind of intimidating if you're just starting out doing this. So you do what you're comfortable with. But the very first thing you absolutely need to do is change the size of this to look like a handout because right now it does it, the size is not a handout so let me show you how to do that so what you're going to do is go to file page setup you want to click on the drop down arrow to select the size now all of these are like the traditional or the standard ones the old one of um, kind of like widescreen or standard presentation so you want to click on custom and then you want to make the size that of a piece of computer paper. So it'll be eight and a half in that first one because that's width, whereas this one is height. And if you notice, if you just hover over it, it tells you which one is which. Um, and so this one being 11 and click apply and it makes it into a handout size, right? And so I just delete these, these text boxes because like I said, I like to start with a clean slate. Now, really, this is where you can do absolutely anything what i don't want you to do though is select a text box and just like select the whole thing and start typing in there no that's not what i want you to do you are going to have multiple text boxes you're going to have multiple shapes and all that kind of stuff and really like i said the possibilities are endless here so up here is where I kind of work in this like navigation bar, but you could also go and insert and you have even more options there. Um, so um, if you want to insert an image, whether that's from your computer, searching on the web or from Google Drive, whatever, you can do that as well, um, which could be kind of cool, especially if you're making your your graphic syllabus this way, um, because that allows you to put an, an, an image of you, which is really cool. Um, so let me show you with shapes. Um, I like to do all kinds of different shapes. What I normally stick to though is like the rectangle or the rounded rectangle I really like. Um, so let's just show you the rounded rectangle. Again, it's just a shape, but then you have all kinds of options here as well. So you can change the fill color with the paint bucket. Um, you can change the outline color, let's say to gray. You can change how thick that outline color is. So I changed it to eight. So notice how thick that gray line is. But then you also can change it to be dots, which is kind of cool. Um, you can change it to be dashes and different kinds of dashes if you would like to do that as well. And then if you double click, you can type in there. So just some formatting things like you can you can center it. What I always do is make sure that it is in the center of the shape. Um, but if you want it to be aligned up top or down in the bottom, you can there as well too. Um, and then just making sure that you, you have all kinds of fonts you could select from. Um, you could always do more fonts as well. So if you click on more fonts, that's where you can kind of add in. So if you click any of these, um, a Montserrat I use actually a lot. Um, so you can add that to your, your list over here. Notice this is my font. So if it's selected over on the left, that means it will now show up in your, in your font list. Um, so if I scroll down, you'll see that there's Montserrat. Um, and then I'm going to make it like super giant and I'm going to type yes I don't know something like that right um, and but then you can also enter in just a text box if you would like um, and the text box again you can make it aligned to the center in the middle of the box um, you can do the dashes and all of that still 
you know, just like a shape. It's just a text box is always going to be a rectangle. So if you want text in anything other than a rectangle, you need to click insert shapes or even an arrow, right? You can do an arrow. So you just draw the arrow and you can customize the color um, and really in any way you want doing all of these cool different things. And then if you double click on it, on the shape itself, you can put in text that way. Now you can like totally make these different shapes and stuff, right? Like let's say that um, you want them to like drag something over, right? So like you make this an empty box and let's say I wanna rotate this guy because in a digital handout, I want them to drag like one of these boxes over here that has like an example in it, let's say, of like a scenario. Um, and that way they just select and drag it to the correct box. And let's say in that, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's say in this box, I have like the text, um, like a vocab term. And then this here is an example and they have to drag the example to the correct vocab term, right? And then what you could do here is once you have it all set up, you can click um, file and make a copy and then you can make your key, right? So you would just have your vocab terms, your examples dragged on top of where they go um, so that they can see where they go. So they can check kind of their understanding if it's a digital, a digital handout. And that's really it, guys. You could always too, give it a more like traditional heading. So I'm just gonna like insert the text box up here, make it centered, give it the font and size that I want and call it, I don't know, guided notes 14, whatever you wanna call it or, or drag and drop activity, something like that. Right, and then I could also um, make that have a line too. Again, however you want to do that. Um, and then you could do another text box underneath that that has your directions, right? And you can tell them, tell them the directions there. And that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, again, hit me up on Facebook, send me an email, whatever you got, and I am here to help you. So um, I hope that this really kind of gets your creative juices flowing and um, you really just need to get in there and start exploring and seeing what you can do in a Google slide rather than in a Google doc. Everybody have a good one.